Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is all about the new Nabla Cosmetics Miami Lights collection. As you guys might know or not know, I am a very big fan of Nabla Cosmetics and recently they came out with a new collection which is called the Miami Lights collection and it consists of uh, blushes, highlighters, bronzers, uh, lip, lip glosses as well I think and a few other things so I picked up some of the products that uh, took my interest and today I will be trying them out and letting you guys know what I think of the collection. I will also be using some uh, novel products that I already had in my collection. Some uh, general information about this collection. Uh, this collection is already available right now. Probably a uh, YouTube video from Nabla on this entire collection and I should have probably watched that one first <laughs> before doing this video. So in the collection we have a Miami Lights glitter palette which is 24 euros. Then we have four new bronzer shades and I'm so excited that they have released new bronzers. I already have um, some of like their previous bronzers but I don't think they're available anymore. And they have added two new shades to their skin glazing line which is a collection that came out a little while ago uh, and it featured uh, highlighters and I think also like one blushy shade type of highlighter and now they have released two new shades as well. Uh, they are described as a highlight but in my opinion the shades that came out right now uh, which is Lola and Independence are blushes. <laughs> and then they also released six new shades of their Shine Theory, Theory lip glosses. And then finally, they also have a new shade of their Cupid's Arrow, hashtag 4, which is a, a black pencil. And I think Cupid's Arrow is a product, a multi use product that you can use on the eyes, the lips, and the face. Nabla Cosmetics is an entirely cruelty free and vegan uh, brand, as far as I know. So, all of these products that I am talking about right now are vegan and cruelty free. So, I got the Skin Bronzing, one of the new bronzers, obviously. The Skin Bronzing Sun Kiss Effect Bronzing Powder and this is in the shade Umbra. So the Skin Bronzing in Umbra is described as a light brown, warm brown. So it's described as having zero thickness and enhance your skin with a supernatural sun kiss effect. The adherent and absolutely imperceptible formula gives your skin a radiant and bronze look. It's a wet and dry formula with buildable coverage, it's suitable, suitable for all skin types. It has a beautiful like texture that I really like and then you have Nabla imprinted in the bronzer itself. You get 6.5 grams which is I think almost as much or eat a little bit more than the Fenty one. I do love the packaging uh, because it's see-through. It's like a really unique vibe in my opinion. Then I also picked up one of these skin glazing glass skin finish glow powders in the shade Independence. So they uh, brought out two shades, Lola and Independence. But Independence looked like more of my type of shade. A little bit more muted and neutral. It has a mauvey tone to it, uh, but Lola seemed a little bit bright for what, from what I could tell. So this is uh, Independence, swatched quite heavily, <laughs> not gonna lie. They definitely have a sheen to them. The blush, or the skin glazing one, has more of a sheen than the bronzer. I personally am a big fan of a bronzer that's a little bit sheeny, not necessarily glittery, or sparkly but that has a sheen to it because usually they tend to blend out a little bit easier and they look a little bit more natural uh, on the skin because they give me more definition than a matte bronzer does. Then I also picked up two of their new lip glosses. I wanted them all but I was like pick up the ones that you're gonna use the most. So these are the Nabla Shine Theory lip glosses and I picked up the shade District. And District is described as a sheer honey nude with no pearls. So it's a glossy kind of a 
Well, it's a gloss without shimmer, which is the opposite from Champagne Supernova, which is described as a transparent base and bronze gold platinum and peach micro sparkles. So this is a gloss with uh, glitters in it. The Shine Theory Lip Glosses retail for 13 euros and 90 cents, and uh, it is said to be thin and ultra mirrored formula. Uh, gives in extraordinary shine to your lips. The finish is wet, multi-dimensional, super luminous and non-sticky. Perfect also as a top coat, so on top of another lipstick. So I didn't pick up the Miami Lights Glitter Palette, which looked absolutely stunning. I love the packaging, like it's clear, and I, I love the concept of the packaging of the eyeshadow palette. But I don't really play with um, glitter that much these days because I'm really scared of getting it into my eye and going blind. And I also didn't pick up the... Um, the Cupid's Arrow in the shade black because I don't really use eye pencils that much and when I do it's not really black. I'm gonna put on some makeup uh, just so you know. So I am putting on the Fenty Beauty uh, Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. Then I'm also putting on the Nabla Close Up Futuristic Foundation. Then I'm also gonna use the Nabla Close Up Stay Full Smooth Concealer which is this one. And to set all that, I'm going to use the Nabla Close-Up Smoothing Press Powder and I have the shade Light. This Nabla uh, foundation is actually quite nice. It's, uh, it says that it's like a radiant kind of matte and I do agree. It's one of the only like slightly soft matte formulas in foundations that I can wear because I have dry skin. So now the Nabla concealer. I'm just gonna apply a little bit like this. And again this formula is very light. Unfortunately I don't necessarily like this concealer so I'm not going to apply too much. Okay, so I've done the first steps of my base makeup and now it is time for bronzer and blush and highlighter and stuff like that. So I'm going to start with the skin bronzing, uh, sunscreen's effect bronzing powder. Anyway, the skin bronzing in uh, the shade Ambra and I'm going to apply that with this brush right here and this is also from Nabla and it has quickly become my favourite bronzing uh, powder, well powder brush. <laughs> So I've zoomed you guys in a little bit so you can uh, see what I'm doing basically. So I'm taking the bronzing powder and this brush and I'm actually going to dip it in a few times and then we're going to apply this to the face. Uh, it's definitely a little bit more red toned. I'm usually used to slightly more neutral slash yellow tones in bronzer. But it doesn't seem too red, so I can definitely make it work. In terms of how it is performing right now, it's definitely not too pigmented, which I can appreciate a lot, because I hate it when a bronzer is too pigmented. So that is uh, the Ambra skin bronzing on my face right now. I really love the way it blended out on my face. I feel like it was very effortless. It was just like done. I really enjoy how this looks on my skin even though the shade might not exactly be what I was hoping for. I really love how my face looks like slightly blended, slightly bronzed. I can definitely tell that it has a little bit of a sheen. I'm not sure if you will be able to see that on camera, but it definitely has like a little bit of a sheen. And I'm, I'm really digging this to be honest. I really, really enjoy it. Moving on to the skin glazing in the shade Independence. I'm actually going to take the same uh, brush from Nabla, the Cheek Shaper 
And that's because I do this in my everyday routine as well. I use this brush for my blush and my bronzer. I dip in like twice and then apply it to... Okay. This is kind of pigmented. <laughs> so I'm going to be a little bit careful. So this is uh, the blush in the shade Independence. I really enjoy the way that this looks on my skin. Uh, again, it's a blush with a little bit of a sheen. And I actually feel like I don't really need to highlight anymore. Uh, you can if you really want to. <laughs> and most importantly, the sheen looks very natural. Uh, so I really love the way that this looks on my skin. So in terms of blendability, I really really enjoy the way that this blended into my skin. It wasn't like you put it on and then it stays in one place and you really have to struggle. You know, you struggle trying to blend this out. It wasn't like that at all. And I feel like that's also due to the like uh, sparkliness, like they said, the glazing part of this product that you don't have to deal with uh, blending issues because adding a sparkle into your product makes a product blend a little bit better. So I'm quickly going to create an eye look. Um, I'm not necessarily sure which, which palette. <laughs> So I have the Nabla Soul Blooming Palette, I have the Nabla Dreamy Palette, and I have the Nabla Secret Palette. So my eye is primed and ready to go. I just used my Essence uh, Camouflage Plus Healthy Glow Concealer. Uh, then I'm taking my Secret Palette and I'm taking a big fluffy blending brush and I'm dipping into the shade Ghibli. Ghibli right here and I'm just applying that in the entire crease. So once that shade is blended throughout the crease, I'm taking this small uh, sm <laughs> small pencil brush from Nava as well. This was the Right Rose uh, brush collection and I'm taking this shade right here which is Mea Culpa. And then I'm gonna create a slight wing. So I wing it out, I connect it at the base like this, and I drag it out on the upper lash line. A little bit in my crease and a little bit above it, I take that same shade and I blend it above the crease. Back with the small pencil brush, I'm taking a little bit of my Culpa and I'm just going to bring it in a little bit further um, where we did the upper smoky lash. Uh, then I'm taking the black in the secret palette, which is no black. No black. This is really pigmented. So you want to be careful with this shade. I'm gonna go really close to my lash. And then we're just tracing what we did with the uh, brown shade first. <laughs> so I'm going in uh, with a flat kind of brush and I'm taking the shade Creation Crown, which is the gold inside of this palette. And we're applying that on the first third of the lid. And then we're going to bring it into the middle part of the lid and slightly blending it with the black shade. And I'm taking the Soul Bloom palette for a very specific shade. So I'm taking the shade uh, right here, and this is Honey Drip. I'm taking that on my finger. And I'm just patting this on the gold. Once you're happy with the amount of shimmer, take the small pencil brush again and just uh, make sure to deepen uh, up the liner again. Then I'm quickly going to apply some mascara and then we will move on to the Shine Theory lip glosses and uh, swatches and application on the CD. So uh, while doing my mascara, I took a look at how the bronzer and blush is looking like my skin, you know, uh, ombre and independence. And oh my gosh, I feel like 
makeup, you know, looks nice when you first apply it, but it has to marinate a little bit and then it looks really, <laughs> you know, then you can give your opinion of what you think of it. Now, moving on to the lip glosses. I have two lip glosses right in front of me. So, um, I'm going to apply them to my lips so you can see what they look right, like right now. So, this is Champagne Nova on its own. Am I filming? I love the applicator. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it's kind of like a flat, pedally thing, and it hugs the lips really, really nicely. Uh, first impressions on this formula, it's very, it's not sticky. Like when I do this, you don't see any stringy, so that's amazing. Um, it almost feels like a lip oil combined with a lip gloss. So uh, this is the shade Champagne Nova. I can definitely see the sparkle. So uh, I don't know how wearable this is for some people. Uh, I think I would wear this because it's quite transparent so I can get away with it. Uh, and it looks absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so that was Champagne Nova. So now I have uh, District, which is this really light honey nude. Uh, same applicator. So yeah, that's it. Uh, oh yeah, this is definitely a little light. So it's definitely a little bit too light to wear on its own, but I do have to say that, oh yeah, and it's also quite sheer. But I do have to say that I don't necessarily don't like this product. I think, again, it feels very, very moisturizing. And I think that paired with the right kind of lip, this could be a really nice way to kind of lighten a uh, too dark nude or to add a little bit of a gloss on top. So I think I'm going to pair this with a uh, lipstick and then see how it looks. And that will probably conclude this face. <laughs> so I have this uh, mini lime crime uh, velveteen, and this is in the shade L. I think this will suit this look really nicely. So I'm quickly going to apply that, and then I'm gonna apply District on top. Oh yeah, that's uh, the fancy what it juice fixing spray. There we go. So this is a little close-up of uh, the look with the bronzer and the lip glosses. <laughs> okay, so to kind of round up my thoughts about this collection, uh, the bronzer is probably a slightly too red, but I feel like I can actually get away with this shade on my face. Uh, it has a slight sheen to it, but it doesn't seem to be too much, it's not too sparkly, it's just a really lovely sheen on the face and it makes it actually look a little bit more natural, which I personally love. <laughs> so I think Nabla did a great job on that one. The Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder. Despite its long name, uh, I actually love this blush. I think it's so pretty. Uh, again, this formula was slightly more pigmented than the uh, bronzer, but it seemed to blend out really, really nicely, and I love uh, the hint of blush that is on my face right now. I also love how it like um, seems to go well with almost every single look, because right now it seems to look a little bit more orange when you compare it uh, when you <laughs> pair it with these mustardy tones that I have on the eyes right now. Uh, but before that, I put on the eyeshadow. It was actually a little bit more cool tone, a little bit more pink, uh, a little bit more mauve. And I I feel like I will love the versatility of this bronzer a lot, uh, blush a lot. <laughs> it definitely has more shimmer than the bronzer, so you want to keep that in mind if you don't necessarily like that, because I feel like I'm at a point where I don't need to wear highlighter because I already have this blush on. The glosses, I love Champagne Supernova. I, f I have a feeling like I'm gonna use that one so much, uh, it's gonna be insane. I also really like District, but I feel like this might not be a shade that I use on the daily, but that could change depending on which lipstick I use. So I think these are beautiful. I love the packaging with like the gold flakes and stuff like that. 
I love how it is very moisturizing, but at the same time, it's not too sticky or tacky, tacky which can happen a lot with uh, glosses. Uh, again, 13 euros 90 for the glosses and the blush and bronzer are each 22 euros. So yeah, I think I really enjoy this Miami Lights collection. I mainly wanted to test it out because of the blush and the bronzer, but I'm actually really happy that I also picked up the uh, glosses, well, the two glosses. Uh, I will link every single product in the description down below, especially the Miami Lights collection. And that concludes it for this video. Please let me know what you think of this collection. Uh, what do you think of the bronzer, what do you think of this, uh, the blush, what do you think of this look? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. That's it for me. Peace out. Love.